Most teachers would tell you something like 80% of golfers fight a slice. Now the cause of the slice is the club face being open to the swing path at impact. Now it doesn't matter if you're swinging from out to in or straight down the line or even from in to out. If the club face is open or pointing to the right of the swing path at impact, the ball will pick up slice spin and peel to the right. Butch Harmon in a recent article gave us a typical scenario for slicers from the top of the swing. He said they tend to make an aggressive move with their right arm and shoulder, pushes the club out away from them, their weight goes backward, and the arms just pull across the ball like that. When the club is coming that severely from out to in, it's very hard to square the club face, so it's going to tend to pick up slice spin and curve to the right. But Butch said even more common than that is slices happen at address, particularly with the driver players tend to really extend their arms, they get out on their toes, they feel more powerful like this. What happens there is they swing to the top and on the, ba on the downswing they get pulled out toward the ball and to counteract that they pull up and see when I pull up my arms pull in and that pulls the club across, open club face, peeling to the right. So Butch has a great very simple tip for this if you want to see that you get the right distance from the ball at address. He says go ahead and take your setup and then just drop your right hand off the club like this. You want to make sure when you put it back on, it's just an easy reach to get it right back where it was. You want to make sure you're not stretching to get it out. That means you're standing too far from the ball. Butch says there's no excuse for not having a perfect setup. It takes no athletic ability at all. So get your distance to the ball right, and you might just lose that slice. Located on the south end of the Grand Strand in Myrtle Beach, you'll find two South Carolina golf masterpieces. Wilbrook Plantation winds its way amid a century-old oak forest. Carved out of two plantations, you'll find Wilbrook to be a challenging 18-hole layout that will inspire you with its beauty, yet provide a demanding test of golf. Named the 2007 Myrtle Beach Course of the Year, Wachasaw Plantation East was built on the site of a century-old rice plantation. Architect Clyde Johnston has created a taste of Scotland while still maintaining that Carolina low country atmosphere. Wilbrook Plantation and Wachasaw Plantation East are Myrtle Beach Golf at its finest.